It's Friday of the PLC training class, and yeah, it's starting to snow, and since we live on the most treacherous hill that you could ever pick in Roanoke, Virginia, I had to get started early here. Yeah, because they're calling for more snow, and yeah, it's even way too dark for you to see how far downhill that is. Hopefully don't need to, but we're leaving early enough that uh, if we slide, we can walk to the PLC lab. Well, luckily, we didn't have to get our morning walk in. We did make it in. So this morning, we'll be produced and consumed exercises and then connecting to PLCs and some other various how-do-you-find devices out on your network. And then, yeah, we'll do a couple more simulations of breaks, I think. If you call from yesterday, I said I had to set up a control logics exercise, or control net exercise. And so, uh, somebody needs to remove some stuff from a control net. So I kind of get a simulated here. Oops, I'm in my ethernet. I scrolled way too far. Yeah, right in here, though. So, ooh, there we go. Now, so I made a node three, even though there isn't actually node three, to, to simulate us, we've removed something from our process. And I, I am so rusty at control net, never was real proficient in it. So if anybody else has a better way at this, let me know. But so what you always want to do, you want to take these out of here now. And first of all, if I just right click it, I cannot do it while I'm online. So I'm going to go ahead and go offline. In fact, I probably should save this before I do anything. Yeah, we have to save. We'll upload our tags. Then I'm going to go up here to communications and go offline. And then I'm going to right click node three and we're going to delete it. And we're going to say yes, we want to delete all the modules inside. That gets that nice and tidied up and we should be able to commit communications who are active. And then, as soon as it gets done spinning, hit our download button. And then even as the green bar goes across, we're probably going to see this node 2 get a little bit angry over here. Put it in run mode, and there it goes. I haven't got it in run mode yet, and node 2 is angry now. And if we right click node two, cause yeah, if we have a little microscopic little yellow triangle right there, that means we right click and go to properties. And then we need to go to the connection category and it says connection request area connection schedule. And at least in super layman's terms, my understanding is, you know, just, just like a bus route or anything, you got to have a schedule of how often you're going to deliver this stuff to all the little thingies. And since we took that one thing out, it, it changed our schedule. So now we're going to go over here to the general category and, oops, oh, no, I'm in the wrong one. <laughs> we're going to go up here to the actual control net module, I mean, control logics control net module, and we're going to go to properties. And then we're gonna get RS Networks here. And then just to act like we don't have a file, I'm gonna put a four right there. And then you feel like you wanna hit this button. Actually, we just wanna schedule it. So now we really feel like we ought to be able to hit this button, but we can't. We gotta take this error box out of the way. Then we gotta hit the apply. And now the button will go active. And I always forget this one step. Should I show us forgetting that step? No, because yeah, I fight it all the time. I know you have to be in program mode to actually schedule the network. So I'm gonna switch to program mode. Then we're gonna hit that button and we're gonna create the file. RS Networks. <laughs> you ever seen it? And Michael's over here, he's like, RS, what? And then, oh, well, look at there. If you hadn't subscribed yet, uh, yeah, I forgot I had that little subscribe uh, driver. So definitely subscribe to our channel, but we're going to open it up. We're going to go down to that control logics, browse its back plane, and you feel like you want to hit that control net, but we don't have an OK button. You got to hit the plus sign by it. And we have to select the actual network. This is what we're going to go out there and browse. I'm going to click OK, 
And it's going to sit here and go through, I think it's 128. I can't remember what control that could even do. I think it was. Looks like it's going up past 100. Yeah, maybe it was 100. Can't remember. And then we're going to use offline data. So I'm going to click OK. And it just said it's downloading the keeper. And ooh, resource needed to begin editing or not available in address 1, slot 5. We'll do the retry a couple times just because that's what we do. Actually, I think it, I think I, gosh, it's been so long. I think actually I just skipped this. Now it's browsing. In fact, let's go over here now. Nope, not happy yet. In fact, it looks very angry right now. Okay, there it goes. So now we optimize and rewrite schedule for all connections. Damn, I don't get, wait, address one, slot five. Well, I didn't put the, eh, maybe you didn't have to switch the PLC to program mode. We'll retry 15 times, because that's what we do. It can't, well, it still says it's saving the keeper information. And now we go over here and look, and it's happy. All right, I'm not sure what was up with that. Uh, just to make sure, mainly this is the control net module. If I switch switch one, input zero should come on, and I think it's input two, output two a little bit later should come on. And it doesn't. Ah, oh, this happens every time that I mess with this control net. And of course, as much as I preach to y'all, to look at the run light on the PLC. I didn't look at the run light on the PLC. Y'all watched me. I sat there and switched that thing to remote program. We gotta go back to run mode. So communications, run mode. Yes. Everything's looking happy. And we got a run light over here now. And now I believe it's output two. If I switch this switch, immediately get zero. Yep, and then we get output two. Now I gotta put everything exactly back, back like it was so that we can all do it as a group when everybody gets here. Well, another training week in the books. It was a really good class. I mean, yeah, I learned a lot. I think they learned a lot. I'm tired and yeah, I'm gonna go home, put my feet out and veg out. Y'all have a good weekend.